This is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on being cool, calm, and confident for consistent winning results. Today's topic is the 13 actions top performing athletes they never do. I went ahead and took the five out of the list of 13. And if you want to go ahead and see the rest of the list, go to my blog and look for the article titled Mentally Tough Athletes, 13 Actions They Never Take. You could do a Google search and you'll find multiple articles about what it takes to be a winning athlete, the qualities of Olympic athletes, how to be more mentally tough. It's all there for you. It's handed to you. But this is like going behind the scenes. We're pulling back the curtain and taking a sneak peek at what's absent. We're looking at what the things are that they're not doing because that's a lot of what everybody else is doing and it's easier sometimes to see what is being done and miss the little things that aren't being done. So let's go ahead and look at some of the things that mentally tough athletes, they never do whatsoever. And we'll go ahead and start with the first, which is powerless. These top elite athletes, the one that claim the number one spot and hold it, they don't give away their power. That means not letting someone else tell them how they ought to feel, who they ought to be, and what they ought to do. Now they take it all in, they get all this information, but they make those decisions for themselves. They don't give away their power. They maintain control over the things that are within their control and it's only two. It's their thoughts and their actions. So hold on to your thoughts, make decisions for yourself, think for yourself, and then take the right actions that are right for you as opposed to what everybody else is doing. After that, pleasing. Now, it, there's similarities between bullies and people pleasers. You wouldn't think so, but they're both on the end of the same spectrum. And what that means is that there's some low confidence issues going on with people that tend to be bullies as well as people that tend to be pleasers. What I want you to really do is recognize that boundaries do matter. Go ahead and really set some clear boundaries about what's okay as well as not, what's not okay and then take a stand for what matters most to you. After pleasers, past. How often do you relive in your mind the mistakes that you've made? You've replayed that movies dozens, hundreds, thousands of times over and over again, reliving the mistake. Every time you do that, you're reinforcing that mistake. You're doing it to yourself. What the top athletes do is they look at the mistake and they acknowledge it. They gain insight and then they make the necessary changes because they're working towards a better future. Go ahead and take that movie and let's change it. Look at what you could do differently so you're gaining the insights and how you can put it into play. That way when you're in a similar situ situation next time, you'll have a whole new response. It's a game changer. Getting out of the past and setting yourself up for the future. After that is possible. When you see another athlete who you think is on the same level as you or maybe you're better than that person and that person excels, it's easy to become envious, jealous, resentful. That doesn't help you. I want you to shift your perspective. I want you to know that if that athlete can do it, then that means that you can do it too. If it's possible for one, it's possible for the next. We've seen that happen over and over again when new records are set and broken. All of a sudden one person does it and then all the athletes behind start doing it too. So when you see someone else doing something, 
just recognize that you could do it also and let's go ahead and get rid of the resentment the envy and the jealousy because it doesn't work and it's not helping you and afterwards the prize are you looking for the immediate payoff or are you looking for the long-term vision there's no such things as magic bullets overnight successes instant wins it's all an illusion those top athletes that you see that are winning that are claiming that number one spot they're in it for the long term they have a vision they know what their values are they both are aligned and then they put it into play they're taking decisive action so don't look for the overnight success the magic bullets it's just an illusion Go for the long-term vision, consistently, steadily working on your game in order to up-level and have you claim what you know is yours. The truth is, greatness takes time. And in order to do that, it's not about perfection. It's about dedicated effort in order to excel. It's a little bit of a shift because perfection is a very narrow place to be. But when you look at excellence and doing your best, there's a lot of room for growth. There's a lot of potential ahead of you. So I want you to take this challenge. Go ahead and decide what's most important to you. What do you really care about? What are your strengths that are going to help you to really get that big vision, step up to what you know you're capable of doing? And then how are you already mentally tough? Because I know that if you're an athlete, if you're competing, if you're pursuing a bigger vision, you are more mentally tough than you realize already. After that, decide which beliefs you have that support that big vision and you being mentally tough, really taking a stand for what you believe in. Then I would like you to describe a time when you excelled, when you got into those moments, you were in the zone, when it all paid off and came together, you hit the sweet spot. Go ahead and describe that time. If you have more than one, go ahead and describe several of them because those things will just reinforce that you're capable of doing it and what's possible. Next, look at the strategies that are gonna help you to focus on the big picture and where you wanna go. And finally, who do you need to become in order to finally achieve that big vision that you have for yourself? Because the person you are today is not the person you need to become to really hit your numbers and claim your number one spot. That's the challenge. Think those things through. Gain some insights and awareness. I want to hear from you on what you're going to put into action in order to do your best possible and to be able to excel, go beyond where you are now. Go ahead and leave a comment as to what you're going to put into play and how it's going to be a game changer, hit the likes button. If you're interested in additional mental game training tips, go to my website, expertsportsperformance.com, put your name and email address in the upper right hand corner. Immediately, you'll get the first of the video training series because your mental game is what's going to take you from good to great. My mission is to show you how to stay cool when the heat is on. Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com.